is four o'clock. I will call the licensing hearing and public safety committee meeting to order. Um, I'll do the roll call. Um, Alder Decker. Here. Alder Ackley. Yeah. Alder Donahue. Here. Alder Feldy. Here. All right. For those uh, present in the chamber, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, is there a motion to approve the minutes from October 14th? So moved. Motion by Don. Second. Second by Decker. Any further discussion on the minutes from October 14th? All right, seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. Chair votes aye, the minutes are approved. Okay, 3.1, discussion and possible action regarding the request for a beverage operating license application number 3325 for the Sheboygan Beer Garden for an extension under the city's continue, continuation of business ordinance. Um, Chuck, do you want to take this one? Sure. Uh, so technically the beer garden is in violation of our continuation of business ordinance, but that's really because uh, they didn't open up during the pandemic. Uh, under our ordinance, you do have the option of granting a single extension, uh, and staff is recommending that you do grant that extension. Uh, we're actually recommending a little longer than Mr. Powers is even asking for just to be safe. Uh, we're, uh, we're su suggesting granting it through the end of the license year, June 30, 2021. Um, that would deal with any other potentialities and, and is really pretty much as far as we can go. Is, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Okay, motion by Dean, second by Barb. Any questions on this one? Obviously, the, I think the beer garden has been kind of hit with um, COVID and then as well as um, a lot of the flooding that's been going down over there. So, um, and I know that there's discussion and will be coming from to our committee soon with the, they're, they're moving locations as well. Um, so any other questions or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye, that's approved. All right. 3.2, resolution number 107, 2021, a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to issue a purchase order to purchase of four vehicles for the Sheboygan Police Department. Chief? So this is um, essentially a regular resolution that's put in every year. Um, the vehicles that Bernie is gonna order are the vehicles that are included in um, our capital plan. Uh, the reason that the order is typically done at this time of year is so that we get the vehicles delivered closest to the start of year as possible. That's the best time for our uh, mechanic and radio technician to be able to switch them over. Um, because of the pandemic, it's more important that it be done this year because of the backlog that Ford has with getting vehicles delivered. So. The vehicles for this year, we didn't get until August this year rather than January. Um, and so they're still being switched over now. So the, the sooner that we can get the order in, the better. As the resolution indicates, we would not get take delivery of them before the first of the year. So it would still be purchased and paid for after the first of the year. Any questions for Chief Domagowski? Uh, I have a question. Go for it, Barb. Uh, Chief, is there a reason that we go to Hartford for the vehicles um, because they do the setup on them, or is there a reason that we don't stay local with it? Yep, we do the setup in house. The reason that we go through Ewalls is because they have the state contract. We get the best pricing through them. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Any motions? I'll make motion a motion. All right. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Motion by Dean, okay. second by Barb. All those in, uh, any other questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 
Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye, that's approved. Okay, 3.3, um, RO number 85, 2021, uh, by the police chief submitting the quarterly reports, chief. Okay, so you have the benchmarks in, in front of you. The highlights are laid out in the IFC. Um, part one crime, violent crime continues to be down this year, which is a very good thing. Um, and with the pandemic and people being um, restricted, um, it's a surprise to me, but uh, it's a positive thing, so I'll take it. Um, slight increase of property crime, um, not something that concerns me, though, looking at how, how far the numbers are down um, from previous years. So I think we're still go doing good there. Um, traffic accidents are down um, about 20%. Part of that, uh, a big part of that, I think, has to do with um, the pandemic having less vehicles um, on the road, especially during the, the second quarter there. But again, it's a positive thing, and we've held it um, since past the, the second quarter. So I think we're going to see a, a good reduction uh, for the year. Um, the other thing that's mentioned in there is during this quarter, we fired six people. So that's a, a big uh, all sworn people. It's a big undertaking for us. And besides that, um, we fired uh, a new um, radio technician. So he's been training with Russ. So we're making good progress on that. Um, as part of our diversity efforts, I would um, mention that of the six people that we hired, we hired one Asian female, one Asian male. Um, I got to think about this. One white male, one white female, and two black males. So we have a, a real good mix of diversity and something that we're really proud of. All really very good candidates. Um, four of them are still in the academy and will be graduating um, very shortly, one at, in November here, and then three of them um, in December. So we're excited to, to have them joining us full time. Um, the other thing that I would say is, it, I think all of you are probably very aware that we had a very busy court, uh, quarter, including um, some protest activity and then some positive activity that we were able to do with um, the Black American Community Outreach Group. Um, so four barbecues and a unity walk with them. and. Um, it's, I think they're really important group for the city. It's really good to see their leadership and the things that, that they've been trying to, to do and um, the opportunities that they bring to the city. So that's what I have for you. If you have questions, I'd be happy to answer those. Cool. Ryan, hey. I have a quick, quick question for the chief. Yep, go for it, Dean. Uh, Chief, just wanted to ask, uh, has there been a, a, a noticeable uh, rise or anything like that in um, Mental health issues regarding with the, with the COVID. I mean, is that has have there been any, any any impact because of that? Uh, so there's an article in the paper. I, I don't subscribe to the paper, so I couldn't read it this morning. But I've done a lot of um, had a lot of discussions with them over the last probably two or three months. Mental health issues really have been a, a consistent issue for us over the last couple of years. Um, we, we respond to probably nine or 10 calls a day just dealing with, with, with serious mental health issues. Um, as a community, I think we're doing much better than we were in the past, both, of, both because of the, the training and how we respond to them, but probably more important is because of um, the additional local resources that we've seen over the last five years. So I, I don't think we're in a perfect place. But, but I think um, we've seen a lot of good progress being made and hopefully that continues to happen. Any other questions for the chief? All right, is there a motion to accept the report? I'll make a motion to accept the report. Great motion by Betty. Second. Second by Dean. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of accepting the report, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's accepted. Thanks, Chief. All right. 3.4 Fire Department quarterly report. Thank you. Uh, so during this quarter, uh, obviously, due, continued uh, due to COVID, uh, our call volume is. Uh, fluctuating but around the same that it was last year our uh, although our overall uh, call volume was only up one percent one and a half percent our EMS calls were down so it kind of equals out 
uh, fire inspections uh, finally resumed this quarter. So uh, we were back into the buildings uh, slowly. Um, and we found about 28 of the occupancies that were non-compliant uh, with the appropriate working smoke detectors. So the crews installed about 32 uh, detectors during this period. Uh, and, and as we continue with the COVID issue, we're going to see less and less uh, ability to go into the schools. So our public education programs uh, did, we went to a virtual pro, uh, profile and uh, submitted several uh, um, PowerPoints, slides, uh, brochures uh, that the teachers themselves could uh, teach the students or bring up for the students instead of us having to be in the school. So uh, that's where we're at. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Any questions for the fire chief? Seeing none, is there a motion to accept the report? Motion to accept. Second. Motion by Dean, second by Barb. Any further uh, comments or questions for the fire chief? <laughs> Seeing none, all those in favor of accepting the report, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye, that's accepted. All right, building inspection, Chad. So thank you, Chair. So we are, when we look at the revenues of the uh, building inspection division, uh, we're about 80,000 behind in uh, come year to date where we were last year, although the number of permits is substantially higher. So the total number of permits issued this year so far is 22,808. Last year at this time, we were at 1,663. So some of that might be the timing of the projects. We do have the Oscar Apartments development on the south side that uh, is a substantial amount of uh, permitting dollars that will be coming in. So we project that we're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about a million dollars when we're done at the end of the year for total revenues. Um, as you can see, it's very similar to where we were in 2018. Uh, but not as high as where we uh, where we closed out 2019 at 1.3 million. So we're optimistic that we're going to close out the year and be able to uh, get us to the million mark. But we'll see. Uh, we budget about 650 thousand a year, so um, we're ahead of that. When we look at the code compliance to date, we've done 6,004 inspections. Our goal is 7,500, um, and then we still continue. Uh, working with people on uh, housing inspections and housing violations and nuisance. So the two part-time code enforcement officers and the two building inspectors are still uh, working through our targeted neighborhoods as part of the strategic plan. So uh, you can see the numbers for nuisance and sanitation orders um, are very similar to where we were uh, previous years. Um, the only, I think, difference is that under sanitation, and nuisance orders, the citations are lower than uh, previous years and we're probably not gonna get to our goal, but that's not an all bad thing because it means people are complying and we're not having to move into the citation area. When we look at the housing inspections, um, we our goal is 700, we're close to that with 653, um, and our citations are very comparable to where we were this year, this time last year. So. Um, you know, I think housing is a little bit more uh, detailed uh, inspection and violations than just garbage and, and off-street parking issues, but uh, we continue to chip away at it. So that's it in a nutshell. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Any questions for Chad? All right. Thanks, Chad. All right. City Attorney. You've got our numbers uh, in front of you. Uh, or at least they were provided to you. Uh, we're about where we expect we would be. Uh, a lot of the numbers, a lot of our numbers are really not generated by us, but it's, it's just simply based on requests that we get. Uh, there are a few uh, new numbers that we've begun to report for 2020. Um, I can answer any questions that you might have, but uh, there's nothing there that's a surprise. Questions for the city attorney? All right. 3.7, RO number 47, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending April 14th, 2021, June 30th, 2021, and June 30th, 2022, Class B liquor license, new application number 3458. This is the Seoul and Nova application, which has been hanging out there for a while. Uh, 
uh, and they have now updated it. Uh, apparently they were out of town for a while. Uh, they've updated it, so staff is recommending that we grant the license contingent upon Vernon Kittler adding his list of felony convictions to the auxiliary questionnaire where the information is required but not provided. That's not enough for us to hold it. He just needs to fix it before they pick up the license. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve with staff, with, with staff recommendations. All right. Second. Second by Barb. Any further discussions? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. 3.8, RO number 76, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2020, new, 2022. Beverage operating license application number 3355. This is John Kubardoulis, which we've held for some time. We're recommending continuing to hold this one. Mr. Kubardoulis has not recontacted us and the PD has been running into some issues getting information from Virginia on a conviction. Uh, they are continuing to work on that and we will be sending another letter out to Mr. Kubardoulis, so the recommendation is to hold. Okay. What, inf Hello. What, what information are you guys trying to get from Virginia? He has a conviction, but we don't know what it's for because he didn't tell us. So we have no way of knowing whether it's related to the licensed activity or not. Okay. Or the, or the nature of it or how serious it is, that kind of thing. Sure. Is there a motion? So move. Second. 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 Okay, motion by Mary Lynn, second by Betty. <laughs> any, further, any further discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right, 3.9 RO number 86, 2021, submitting various license application for the period ending December 30th, 2020, June 30th, 2022. This is the uh, larger RO, and staff is recommending granting all of the licenses on the RO except that the taxi cab license of Molly Jane M. Johnson be granted with a warning. Uh, that's due to her 2020 conviction for obstructing. And that the taxi cab license of Cheyenne M. Lip should be held uh, pending a plea, plea hearing that she has scheduled on a number of serious uh, charges, including some felonies. So we want to wait to see what happens with those. That's our recommendation. I move to adopt the recommendation. Second. second. All right, there's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye, that is approved. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda and there are no more questions or nothing else on the agenda, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion, motion. to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. second. All right. There's been a motion and multiple seconds. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 418. <laughs>